1.7 million vulnerable people rely on telecare in the UK. When someone falls, they might press an alarm button. Data is sent via the public switch telephone network to a monitoring centre, where an operator will provide advice or get help. That's how telecare works today, but things are changing. For decades, the UK's public switch telephone network has connected telecare systems, but from 2025, the old network will be fully replaced with a digital network. As early as 2023, it won't be possible to buy an analog phone line from BT. This presents opportunities and challenges for care and health. Old analog alarms won't work in the same way on digital networks. In Sweden, most telecare has been replaced by digital systems connecting over mobile networks via SIMs. In the UK, some service providers are beginning to use Internet of Things and smart speaker technologies. But is it safe to ask these devices to help in an emergency? All these new technologies gather data, which can help commissioners and services to deliver smarter care. For example, creating predictive environments that highlight behaviour changes and forecast when someone might need extra support. Joining up data from telecare, social care and housing can give a more holistic view of someone's needs and home care or community support can use this insight to plan their resources. Analyzing data to identify at-risk groups is also key to a population health approach. When information from people's digital environments is combined with care, housing and health records, it gives a clearer picture of vulnerable groups and geographic needs. It's also hoped that digital technology could reduce emergency escalations by identifying individuals at risk of reaching a crisis. Better data will help ambulance services to grade calls more accurately and provide the most appropriate response. But the opportunities that come with digital also pose challenges. Existing standards and regulations may soon appear outdated in this new modern tech landscape. Quality guidelines must accommodate new technologies and ensure the reliability, safety and cybersecurity of care. TSA, the national body for tech services, is working hard to tackle these issues and look at the actions that are needed to avert a major disruption to telecare. Technology-enabled care is transforming people's lives and the services which deliver care and support. The growth of digital solutions is rapidly opening up new opportunities to deliver personalised care and support. When you think tech, think about how you'll use it to protect, detect and connect.